Hello and welcome to the CXF Toolbox and CXF Designer plugin demonstration. On your screen you'll notice the CXF Toolbox. In the Toolbox we can create CXF, view CXF data, and manage PDFs with CXF data inside of them. In the initial part we can create the CXF from CGATS files, CXF1, CXF4, and CXF3 data. In this case, we have a CGATS file that's been loaded into here for Brilliant Orange. Below, you can see that we have a tint ramp measured over white and over black. The over white, we can select the tint values and see the spectral curve below. Also, we can, because of the CXF4 data set, we can add in metadata for the definition of this color. In this case, we've added the color name. We could add an inventory name, the substrate, as well as brand owner, tolerancing, delta E formula, and even more metadata of the creator, the creation date, device measurement specifications for illuminant, measurement angles, and such within here as well. Once I've set all the data that I would like to include into the CXF4, I can then save this file. I'm going to save this file, this brilliant orange, I'll replace the existing one. <clears throat> now that I've saved that data, I can then come in here and open the file and view this further. We'll select our brilliant orange again and open up this file. Now we can see the same information that we saw in the creation, but now we can also show an additional report. In this case, it gives us our spectral wavelength data, as well as a view of that data on the 100% value, and a tone value increase chart, as well as the over white measurements and specifications that we have for opacity, spectral density, and such. This report could be printed for records or sent to another location for ink formulation or whatever is needed for this brand color. Another option for viewing a CXF data is we could browse to an existing CXF file that's a CXF1 color file. In this case, when I select this color, it will see that it's a CXF version 1 file and ask if we'd like to import this. If we select the import port function, we can see the color name, we could associate or change that name, we can define where we want to save this, what the extension is, the information that's allowed for the metadata, and then create that CXF4 data to be used in our designer plugin. Once I've created the CXF or viewed the CXF data that I'd like, and I want to get into Illustrator to use my plugin, I can go ahead and open Illustrator. In this case, I have an existing document that I had opened for this demo. <clears throat> in this case, I want to associate or make sure that I have loaded in my proper colors that I want to use for this project. So as a designer, I can import in CXF data, like this brilliant orange file that I want to use. It's a CXF file. So if I select my CXF brilliant orange, I can open that and it's added into my directory. Now once I select this color, I can add that selected color into my swatch library to use for this document. It lets me know that I've added that in there. If I open up my swatches, we can see now that we have our brilliant orange associated. If I want to select my colors for this, and then associate the new spot color, I can go ahead and do that. And now I've corrected that and can use that color as my brand color within this document. Now I can go ahead and save this as a PDF. When I save this file out, I want to use a PDFX format, either an X1, X3, or an X4 file. With that ability, when I save out that PDF, it will embed the spot color information in that CXF file. So now that that file has saved, I can go back into the Manage PDF function within my toolbox, either at this location or at a external location that may be receiving this file that needs to get this data outside of the PDF for use in an ink lab, for specifications, or whatever is needed for this brand color. In this case, now that I've opened up this ORIS package that we've saved earlier, 
We can also see that we've included the output intent profile if this is being used. We can also extract the specified profile if need to. As well as now we can see the defined spot colors added into this file in a CXF format. In this case we could select either one of these, extract that, and save the file wherever we would feel necessary for use in another system or specifications for that brand co color. Also below we can use our print order uh, or ink laydown order in order to associate a specific ink laydown sequence that's needed for this file if it wasn't associated earlier in our application. Once that information is saved or if we missed a spot color that needs to be defined in here or added for a specific need, we can even add a CXF file in here after the fact for this PDF file. So as you can see within the toolbox we have the ability to manage this PDF with not only adding but also extracting or renaming the colors defined in this and in addition changing ink order for our print sequence that's necessary. Thank you for viewing the CXF Toolbox and CXF Designer plugin. Thank you.